the hell is wrong with you back there? Brad, you lost your shit, like big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no. No, come on, that's ridiculous. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? Beats me, man. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? This all feels more like a mausoleum than a ship. So where did all the corpses come from? Apparently getting scared to death is an actual thing, because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to these guys. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Great. Could've used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open.
Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. Over here. Gotta wait through here. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean?
ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Holy oh, shit, we got him. Uh, come on, this is an emergency. Please. We're on a freighter, a bandit, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Hey! Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the picture's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So, what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. Broken bones. Everything still work? Everyone okay? 
We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Some sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. There was a guy named Joe in sickbay. I wish I could actually, you know, enjoy this. What the hell are you talking about? Well, in any other circumstance, you know, this place would be the coolest place to explore. Like, like ever. I'm gonna say no. Not at all. Says the girl who couldn't wait to dive a wreck. Shut up. Here, come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Uh, the ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! Uh, Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. What's up? That, it, 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 it was, it was, wait, didn't you see it? Um, hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so, follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying Manchurian gold, which was actually some kind of dangerous chemical, right? And there's this, like, weird fog everywhere, all over the place. Maybe that's the Manchurian gold. And maybe it's fucking us all up, like in the head, you know? I mean... I definitely saw some crazy shit that I could have sworn was real, but maybe it wasn't. We know the crew were scared shitless of something. None of it happened. None of it was real. It was just a hallucination. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I mean, maybe there was a connection. Maybe they made contact. It's a theory, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's get going.
You know what I miss right now? Dry clothes? Yeah. Hey, hey, I found it! Oh, thank God. And it's working! Yep, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's gotta be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us! Over! Please state your coordinates. Over. Our location is 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please get here now! We need help! Recovery mission is on route to your location. Over. Oh, come on, work them in! Look at this! The rebreather! The fisherman must have brought it over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. Are you crazy? Half the ship is submerged. It could be a lifesaver. I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah. We 
You got a split. Totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio.
saw the, 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 the big guy. He had the distributor cap. <laughs> This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky.
It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. The distributor cap. It's out of the picture. Guess it's time for a new plan. The Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. Best I can figure out. We got a couple days. Maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat. But not this shitty boat. Conrad? Right out. Where's Jules? Connie. I'm so sorry, man. This can't be. died. Maybe I could have done something. Maybe it could have been me. Who knows it should have been. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. 
It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Won't you spare me over till another year? 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 Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands digging hold of me? Well, I am deaf, none can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard, you're trying to pick the right path. There's poor people, poor streets inside the neighborhood mass. Bearing scars of the past, they keep trying to escape. Destiny within their eyes, these are the tears of our fate. All these numbers of our lives that we keep trying to equate. They got us living every day, we're in search of that gate. Pray. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the night? Someone would pray once you come and call me another day. The children prayed, the preacher preached. Time and mercy is out of your reach. Lo and behold, the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. Put a tail off behind it, the trails off in the fire that sparked those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums Oh, death, oh, oh, death Won't you spare me over till another year Well, I'll fix your feet till you can't walk I'll lock your door till you can't talk I'll close your eyes till you can't see This very hour come and go Heaven's coming, praying it doesn't come late. This is for real, man. It's how I push through my pain. When ass is always falling and death's rain. It's cold outside. Death look me in my eyes. Hold through these plans, man. We gotta be wise. Hold through together. It's then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. And can that la la Brisa running up her thighs while she's singing. Oh, okay. Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next joint Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us, my friends So you better get Oh, death Oh, death Won't you spare me over to another won't you spare me over to another day? 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 Won't you spare me over to another
So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. <laughs> What the hell is this? <laughs>